In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace your spark plugs on this Toyota Camry with a 2.5 liter 2AR engine. These are located right at the top of your engine, so let's get started. With the hood open, let's remove the engine cover if your vehicle has one. Simply pull up on it and it should pop off of the three pins that the grommets sit on. The process for all four will be exactly the same, so I'm only gonna show you one of them. Let's do this first one, and then I'll do the other three. Press on this tab on the connector and wiggle the harness until it pops off of the ignition coil, just like this. Set it aside, get a 10 millimeter socket and remove this bolt that holds the ignition coil down. If you have any debris around here, this would be the time to either blow it off with compressed air or use a vacuum and vacuum it up. Mine looks pretty good, so I'm just going to pull up on this ignition coil, and there it is. Now get yourself a spark plug socket. This is a 5 8 so you can also use a 16 millimeter, and drop it down onto the spark plug, break it free. I recommend doing this by hand, not with power tools. You can do some damage to the spark plug or the threads with power tools if you're not careful. And the reason I use the spark plug socket is so that at the end, it'll actually pull the spark plug out. Uh, spark plug sockets are either magnetic or they have a little rubber insert that holds onto the plug so that you can simply just pull your socket out and the plug will come with it. And there it is. Take your new spark plug and put it onto your spark plug socket. This is the most important factor of this spark plug socket. It allows you to do this without dropping the spark plug down, which is what you want to avoid. Also notice I did not put any anti-seize or anything else on the threads of the spark plug itself. They do have a special coating and you do not need to add anything to the threads. Start it in by hand so that it does not cross thread and then use your ratchet or a tool of choice to bottom this out. And then of course we're gonna come back and torque it with a torque wrench so that it is properly tightened. These do have a crush washer on the base of the threads and crushing that washer properly is what's going to create a nice tight seal in the cylinder. All right, that's snugged up. Let's get a torque wrench. The torque for this is 18 foot pounds. If you don't have a torque wrench that can torque this, all you have to do is give it about half a turn after it bottoms out. And there we go. Take your spark plug socket out. On the ignition coil, I like to put a little bit of dielectric grease or silicone paste right on the edges of this boot. What this is going to do is it's going to prevent the silicone boot from sticking to the spark plug after years of heat cycles, and it's going to ensure that it has a nice watertight seal. Take your ignition coil, slide it down, just like this. I'm gonna plug it in while I'm at it. Make sure that clicks. Take this bolt, put it back in here, Start it by hand, and let's bottom it out. Make sure it's nice and snug. After it bottoms out, just give it about an eighth of a turn at most, and that should be perfect. Now you wanna do the same to the other three cylinders. When you replace these, you wanna do them all at the same time. You don't wanna do just one cylinder. Having said that, I'm gonna do the rest. Now take your engine cover. You'll see these three pins right here. They need to line up with these three bushings. Once it all lines up, press it down into place, turn the engine on, and make sure it runs smoothly. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.